Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Have you ever wanted to quickly schedule the coordinates of your pile foundations? For example, top of piles, bottom of piles, or simply their insertion points. Let me show you now how to do it quickly in an automated way and also have these coordinates values automatically update as you move your foundation objects around. To begin, we need to have some parameters in our elements to hold the new coordinates values. Let's create them now. I can go to Shape Parameters here. And as you can see, I have already added a few. But for our purpose today, we need to add new ones. So let's do New. And let's call this one X Top Coordinates. Make sure the new parameter is of type Length. Otherwise, this workflow will not work. Let's do OK here. And do the same for y top coordinates and then z top coordinate. We now need three more parameters for the bottom coordinates of the foundations. Let's do new again here. This time instead of top, I can do bottom. Copy this again to the use. I can now do y bottom coordinate and then lastly z bottom coordinate. Now the shape parameters are good to go. I can now do OK and then add them to this model using the project parameters button here. I can do new, go to shape parameter and then select the one I just created. Starting from X top coordinate, this one here. For the categories, you can of course apply this to as many categories as you want. But for today's tutorial, let's just do foundations. So I can do structural foundations there. The parameter type is already correct because we defined them in the shape parameter file. So we're good to go. Let's do the same now for Y top coordinate. This one there. Structural foundations. And then one more time for Z top coordinate. I will now quickly do the same thing for the bottom coordinate parameters. Here we go. I can now do OK. And here, if I now click on one of the foundations I have here, I can see my new parameters under dimensions. So X, Y, Z top and X, Y, Z bottom. That's great. Moving on, we now need a good way to populate these parameters because really, we don't want to fill them out manually, do we? Well, Revit cannot do this on its own just yet. But the good news is we can use a free plugin to generate and keep these values always up to date for us, even as we change and move these objects around the model. The plugin is called RV Live Coordinates. If I now go to Add-ins, I have it here already under my RV Boost panel. This plugin is completely free to try, so if you haven't got it already, just go down to this video description and use the link there to get your free copy today. For me, I'll just run it now. And here's the user interface. Super simple. We can start from defining the parameter setup we need to have on this first row. Step one is to select the category. In our case, of course, that's going to be structural foundations. Next step, we want to specify the coordinate base that the plugin should use to detect coordinate values. There are several options here, but for now, I'll just go for shared coordinates. As you can see on the tooltip, this is the equivalent of getting the parameter values from spot coordinates that is said to be based on the survey point. So that's good for me now. Next step, I can choose the parameters where I want to store the coordinate values in each object. On this menu, that's easy because here I have all the parameters available from this category here. For me now, let's first go for X top coordinate, Y top coordinate, and then, of course, Z top coordinates. These three will hold the X, Y, Z values of the top point of each foundation here. To finish the setup, I need to also set the element reference. This is the point on each object that the plugin will obtain and extract coordinate values from. In our case, we want to have the top point of each object. So let's go for founding box top center. 
a building box is simply an imaginary box in Revit that is just big enough to tightly fit an object inside. So you can see here, the top of the building box of this item here would be this tiny rectangular face, and the box top center will be the center of that face. So now we have this first thing set up correctly. Let's apply this setup and see what we have. So very quickly, the plugin has updated all the parameters wherever possible. I can now do OK to check the result. And right away, I can see that these three parameters, they have now values. If I now click on this and move it away, you can see the parameters instantly update themselves to reflect the new object location. Even better, it works not just for the main family here, but also the nested components of the families. Here they have the whole foundation object selected, but if I now tap select just one single part underneath, this nested object also has its coordinates filled out. If I now move it around, I also see these three values are being refreshed automatically for me. So that works for the top coordinates. Let's do the same now for the bottom ones. I can go back to Add-ins, back to RV Live Coordinates. And here it's easy to duplicate this setup to configure our bottom values. Simply press on this duplicate button here, and I will copy this parameter config to a new row just below. For this second row, I can keep the category, coordinate base, but I want to change now the parameters. So from X top, I'll change it to X bottom, and then Y top to Y bottom. And finally, Z top will now be Z bottom. For the element reference, instead of using the box top center, I will use now the bottom center instead. Remember, the bounding box is just big enough to fit this element inside, so the bottom face of the bounding box will be somewhere here and the center of that face will have the coordinate values we want to get. So it looks good. I can now click on apply. And in a few seconds, all the parameters have been updated for me. When I click on maybe this other foundation here, I can see all six parameters have now been filled out. If I try to move it, all six values will be updated for me as well. If I even try to copy this object to a new one. The new item will also automatically has its parameters populated as well. And the best thing is, because I have set up all the config for RV Live coordinates, even if I close down this model and then reopen it maybe a month from now, it will still keep these values always up to date when I move the items in a month's time. And also, since these are shared coordinates, it is now super easy for me to schedule them. If I now go to schedule, and go for structural foundation here as the category. I can then select X, Y, and Z coordinates to be shown in the schedule. So X top, Y top, and Z top. They go first, and then we have following them X bottom, Y bottom, and Z bottom. For easier identification of the family objects, I will also add in here a column for family and type and move it to the top. I can then also sort the table by family and type and see what it looks like. So there you have them. All the coordinates of all foundation objects have been scheduled for me super quickly. If I go back to here, select the first row, show the object in the model, maybe even side by side with the schedule. If I move this around, you will see the value update themselves in the schedule as well, just as I want them to be right there. Now for the bonus tip, because I'm using RV Live coordinates, I can always go back to the app and even change these configs whenever I want to. For example, instead of reporting coordinates from the shared coordinate system, I can change the base from shared coordinates to project base point. And the same here. If I now apply this again to the model, you will see all these values will change because now they refer not to the shared coordinate system, but to the project base point of this particular model. If I go back to maybe the entry level and turn on the project base point and the site, this one there, 
Here's a point I have here in circular blue. If I now try to move this base point, you will see all these values also update because they always refer back to this as a coordinate base. Of course, I don't advise you to move this base point because usually it should always be fixed. This is just to show you that once you have configured your requirements in RV Live coordinates, any relevant changes in the model later on will notify the app to update these parameter values for you. That means your schedule will always be accurate and leaves no space at all for human errors. So if you want to try RV Live coordinates today, just go down to the video description and use the link there to get your free copy today. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you in the next tutorial.